Hey everybody, it's Brad, and I am back in my recording space, finally, after a couple months. And to celebrate, I want to do a special video for you. This is a, a normal 2v Tuesday video where I'm going to recap all of my watches for the past month. Those come out the last Tuesday of the month. But this is something I've been thinking about doing from time to time is I want to bring you some mini reviews of, you know, a movie I've watched on Tubi along the way, just kind of here and there. It's not going to be everything, but right now I'm in the midst of 150 days of horror myself and drew from the real feels podcast and needs to be seen. He and I came up with the challenge to do 150 horror movies in 150 days. We started June 3rd, which marked 150 days till Halloween. So we are doing this challenge all the way up to one of the greatest holidays ever in Halloween. And we are going to try to average one horror movie a day. Make sure you follow the hashtag 150 days of horror on social media as we are posting any watches we do with that hashtag. So you can see what we're watching. You can also follow my letterbox list. I put a link below that you can follow there. And, you know, you don't necessarily have to do all the challenge. You can just any horror movies you watch from now until Halloween. Use that hashtag. Show us what you're watching. We love discovering new films that we've never seen or old favorites that, you know, maybe we haven't watched in a while going, oh, man, I need to I need to watch that again. Just use that hashtag and and post those horror movies out there so we can can see what everybody is watching up until Halloween. So, like I said, I wanted to bring you a little mini review as I'm going through these horror movies that I just watched two films that I have never seen, just watch them for the first time, and they are Waxwork from 1988 and Waxwork 2 from 1992. Both films were directed by Anthony Hickox, and they're starring Zach Galligan, as you may know him from Gremlins. And real quick, the synopsis for the first one, a wax museum owner uses his horror exhibits to unleash evil on the world. And I will say, like I said, I had not seen either of these films up until this point. I was excited to finally watch them. They've been on a watch list for a long time. And I figured with this challenge that I'm going to knock out some films that that uh, I you know have been meaning to watch. And this was one of them. And right off the bat, this film is... This first one was super fun. You know, everything is it, a mystery in the wax museum. When you go into the wax museum, if you cross a certain line, you get sucked into whatever that display is. And David Warner, who plays the wax museum owner, he his goal is you have to capture so many people in these wax displays in order to bring them all to life and unleash the evil upon this world. And it was just a super fun movie. I really enjoyed um, this film. I mean, it has some humor in it. It has some good, you know, practical effects that, that you would love from the eighties. And I highly recommend checking out Waxwork. And moving on, we got a sequel in 1992, Waxwork 2, Lost in Time, which takes place right after the first Waxwork ends. Like, it it literally takes place, starts the second after, and continues on. And even though th this one has nothing to do with the Wax Museum as it is, they find... Uh, a little time medallion and they jump through different, different time periods, you know, medieval times into the future, into wherever. And a lot of it is, you can see references to many, many films as they are going along. Like the opening scene is a homage to evil dead where they're fighting a hand that is attacking them. And it, it's so evil Dead. even the camera work 
is Evil Dead. You can tell that there was influences of Sam Raimi. And I'm going to say this. I liked Waxwork 2 more than I liked the first Waxwork. I know the first Waxwork, I mean, it, it takes place in a Waxwork museum. The second one has nothing to do with this Waxwork museum. But I had a blast with the second one. It's full of cameos along the way. You got David Carradine has a little scene. Bruce Campbell has a fun scene that is so much an Evil Dead scene that it was just hilarious. Uh, Drew Barrymore shows up. Uh, there are so many people that that pop into the second one that I, I was just enjoying the ride along the way. And I I did like that it was a continuation from the first one to the second one. The second one is a lot more silly than the first one. Um, the first one is somewhat a little more serious. I mean, you have in the first one, your friends, they're bringing their friends into this museum and, and things happen to their friends. They're trying to get the police involved. And it's kind of like this mystery of getting into the museum to try to stop them. And the second one, it's just like we're jumping through time. It's a jump, a jump, a jump. And if I'm honestly going to say if you haven't seen Waxwork or Waxwork 2, I highly recommend checking them out. So that will do it for this little mini review. I had so much fun, like I said, watching both of these films that that's why I wanted to do this little mini review and to celebrate being back in my space. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more of these mini reviews as they come out, as well as my 2B Tuesday videos that come out on the last Tuesday of the month where I highlight and low light some of the films I've watched on Tubi over the past month. And be sure to follow our podcast at wearethecinemaguys.com for even more movie fun. And like I always say, Tuesdays aren't just for tacos. We'll see you soon. <laughs>